Hi class, welcome to week five. So this week you're gonna be covering cardiac and respiratory, which can be a lot. So I'm gonna cover the things that you will cover in your weekly handouts that you have. The one, the first page will, is thorax and the lungs, and then the second page is the cardiovascular assessment. Just like with our previous weeks, in the week by week breakdowns, we do go a little bit more extensive though than what you will see in your head and chest. So for example, this is the first week that we actually do IPP and A, so we get to do all four parts of the physical assessment. So you will notice I have included on the thorax and lung assessment all four of those components. However, when you do do your final return demonstration for head to chest, you will notice that percussion of the lungs is not included on there. So for today, I'll just do percussion of the posterior lungs to show you what it would look like so that way you can get an idea. So first I have my patient, Mr. Brad Pitt. Thank you so much for helping us out today. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin with the respiratory assessment. When I'm looking at my patient, I'm gonna look at his chest wall. So look at the chest wall. The transverse compared to the anterior posterior is in a two to one ratio. I'm also looking at his costal angle. His costal angle is roughly 90 degrees. His posture is upright, it is straight and erect, no lordosis, scoliosis, or kyphosis. Um, so that tells me that he has good breathing because he has a uh, straight and erect, comfortable posture. Also, skin color is appropriate to ethnicity with pink undertones. His respirations are even and symmetric. I don't see any accessory muscle use. Um, and additionally, his facial expression is calm, he is relaxed, and he appears to be in a good mood. And he is also alert and oriented times four, which we determined earlier in the assessment. So next, I'm going to continue on with palpation. So I could first begin by palping the anterior chest, just feeling for any lumps, bumps, or tenderness. Do you feel any tenderness? All right, fantastic. Also, before, since I went ahead and I had already visualized symmetric chest expansion, I'm gonna place my hands at T9, T10, and have my patient take a deep breath in. Very good. So I was able to confirm symmetric chest expansion with the patient took a deep breath in by placing my hands at T9, T10. Now I'm going to place my hand on your back, and every time I place my hand on your back, can you please say 99? 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, Even vibrations were felt throughout. I could also repeat that on the front, but for today I'm just going to continue with um, feeling on the back. I did feel for the lumps and bumps and tenderness on the front. I can do the same on the posterior. Do you feel any tenderness? No. Fantastic. And no lumps or bumps are noted as well. Next, I'm going to go ahead and continue with percussion. When I do percussion to close to your lungs, I'm going to follow that same side-to-side -side zigzag pattern that I did when I did a tactile firmitus. Because you'll feel a little tapping as I move. lung fields are all resonant to percussion bilaterally. Next, I'm 